Hey, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a custom module for Sugar CRM. Um, this demo shows for uh, Community Edition. Um, and basically, the uh, first step um, is you want to log in to Sugar CRM um, and then go to your uh, module loader, um, which is located uh, down here. Module loader. Um, and then. Um, then you want to actually create your module um, here I have in this demo I'm showing a demo where uh, basically it has uh, an HTML file JavaScript that calls the JavaScript and then another separate uh, demo that has uh, basically a query to the MySQL database um, and basically once you have these files you create them and uh, make a directory here um, I have a directory called demo and I put uh, basically those files inside that directory here um, and then there's a license.txt file that shows up um, you can pretty much put anything you want in there um, and then a readme.txt file now the manifest file actually controls um, what files are uploaded um, and you want to take a careful look at that um, what my manifest file basically looks like this one um, I have uh, basically uh, an array um, of files um, listing each of the files now what you want to do is you put the path name uh, of where it's coming from and going to on, on each file um, and then that's basically the setup for that now once you've uh, created your files you want to basically select them and uh, compress them into a zip file um, here I'm calling mine demo.zip and just saving it to my desktop and creating it. Um, it's going to overwrite the old one that I made um, and then basically you can go in and look at the demo file just see what the directory structure is of the zip file. Basically it has the demo directory again, uh, license, files the manifest file which is very particular you have to be careful uh, but the, the demo directory um, here uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, basically the, the demo files will be put into uh, uh, a location on the server um, which you can see here this one shows it under custom modules demo and then slash demo.php and that's that file for example now on the server side when your web browser you can check to see if the files are uh, you know basically what that directory is you can go into it and say this is custom modules under my install path custom modules and a demo you'll notice that there's no files currently there because I haven't uploaded my module yet now basically in the module builder what you want to do is you uh, choose your file here it's the demo.zip and then you upload it now it should show up down here here I put a version number um, in the readme uh, and then you install it accept your license and commit the changes takes a moment now once it's installed you can view the log see what happened here and go back to the module loader now it shows up as demo here and then the type is a module and then version number which you can control and so on now you go back to your directory see if the files have been uploaded and how the files have been loaded you can go to this demo.html um, and then it runs the JavaScript code and just shows the date here and you can view the source for the JavaScript if you want and that's the demo on how to basically upload um, a uh, module to Sugar CRM also show just the uninstall process so you can see that it cleanly uh, removed the files and you can look at your display log again back to your module builder and then you want to delete the package down here and then if you go back to your browser and you go to the directory and you reload it it shows that it's been removed and that is how to do a sugar CRM module load and unload with your own custom uh, files uh, 